Have you recently imported some video footage that you've shot on a C300 by Canon and found that in your project window you end up with numerous video files that are the exact same thing? I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you're like me, you probably take your C300 footage and you just drag and drop it into your project window. <clears throat> give you the importing files. It's going to give you an error because it's basically trying to bunch, uh, import a bunch of files that are uh, linked to it but not relevant. And then you open the project, you go to your clips, and you see that they are all the same video. Notice the times as well, they're all the exact same. So this would happen whether you do it like I just did with the dragging and dropping, or if you went file import and imported it using that method. The way to get around this, and I'm to be honest, I have no idea why this is the case with C300 footage, but the way to get around it is, of course, you don't need that original, so I just deleted that. You go to your media browser down here on the left if you're in the default view, editing view within Premiere Pro. And within the media browser, you go to the folder where your C300 footage is. So I grab my footage. Um, whoops. And there's my C300 footage, and you notice that all the video previews are showing in the little window here. So within that, just do a Control A on your PC keyboard or Command A if you're on a Mac, and grab it all and drag it up into the project window. So now you notice what it did is it created a single video file instead of multiple video files. You can put them all into a bin if you want. Uh, which is what I'm going to do. But that's how to get around it. Like I said, I don't have no idea why. Notice that's one. Now we've got separate unique video files. And I think uh, this is the one that I actually want, or this one. Oh, well, it's on here somewhere. But the point being is that's how you get around it. Hope that was useful. And um, I guess I'm supposed to say subscribe to the channel and, you know, all that kind of crap for more Premiere Pro tips or filmmaking tips.